when it comes to the sales journal, we've spoken about the need to have the sales journal because we're dealing in a situation where we don't have an immediate impact on bank. So when it comes to our debtors, we have a sales journal which allows us to account for all the sales that have been made on credit. There is always the possibility, however, that your client or your debtor brings something back and says, we didn't actually want this, we want to return this. In this case, we create a sales returns journal in order to account for the stuff that people have bought back. So when a debtor returns goods, we need to record the transaction. We need to record the decrease in sales, the debtor's account, as well as the impact on the VAT. Again, we can't use the cash receipts journal for this because there's no impact on VAT. And the sales journal records the sale itself, so we need to record the credit note separately. We need to record the fact that we are reducing this, the sales return itself, we will do separately. What does the sales return journal look like? The nice thing for you, is, as, as, as far as your studying is concerned, is that for the most part, the sales return journal looks exactly the same as the sales journal itself. Notice the name, obviously, of the journal. And you'll notice instead of the sales column, we talk about your sales returns and your SRJ rather than your SJ. Note that the columns are the same as the sales journal since we have to reverse all the sales or all the details of the sales. So it makes sense to say all of these would be the same because what we're trying to do is reverse the impact of that sale and say we are reducing everything. So if we recorded VAT output, we must then reduce that and reduce the VAT output. If we recorded debtors control, we've got to record that that's decreasing and our sales returns, we have an account for to show that our sales are decreasing as well. But for our sales return journal, it does for the most part look the same as our sales journal itself. The best way to do this is to do an example. So I'm going to do an example with you. Um, I have given you an example that we're going to work through together. The nice thing about the example I'm going to give you and the one I'm going to do with you is it shows us how to deal with the VAT output as well as how to post it to the general ledger, how the VAT output is dealt with as well as both the sales journal and the sales return journal. So make sure that you do the example with me and it'll help us figure out exactly how to use the sales returns journal as well.